Welcome back to the Whiskey Couch here in sunny South Africa with me Gustav Miller as your host. This is Whiskey Tasting and Food Pairing Review number 135 and what a fantastic day for an exciting whiskey tasting, whiskey review and some whiskey and food pairing adventures. Today's whiskey is the fourth one in this series that I'm doing on 10 year old single malts. So I've already reviewed the Highland Park 10 year old Viking Scars and I did some food pairings on that as well as the DYC which is right here Spanish single malt 10 year old and the Springbank 10 year old single malt from Campbelltown in Scotland and today <clears throat> pardon me it's time for the Deanston 10 year old Cask Strength PX Finish. Man, this is an exciting one. I can't wait to share what I find in this whiskey. The Deanston 10 year old PX Finish Cask Strength from the Deanston Distillery. Deanston Distillery was founded uh, in 18, 1965. So it's quite a youngster in terms of uh, whiskey in Scotland history. 1965 and I've got a picture here just to give you an idea it's situated on the banks of the river Tithe or Teeth I don't know how exactly you pronounce that that is the warehouse where you can see the casks waiting to be enjoyed um, it's situated in the southern highland of Scotland let me just see if I can find it on my map here Yes, quite close to Tully Barden. So, there we go. This is your highlands of Scotland, the lowlands. And then here in the southern part of the highlands, there's Tully Barden. And right there, you've got Deanston. And it is situated where a cotton mill used to be. The Adelphi Cotton Mill. So it's actually a cotton mill that was transformed into a whiskey distillery. And it's owned by Distel International, who also owns the James Sedgwick Distillery in Cape Town, South Africa, where they produce the very well-known um, Baines Cape Mountain single grain whiskey. But right here for today, Deanston, this is the gift box 10 year old so non chill filtered natural color it was matured a lot of information on the back here matured in ex bourbon casks and then finished finished in ex pedro Jimenez sherry casks and um cask strength that i like i said bottled at 57.5 percent alcohol by volume until filtered and I poured my dram a little before I started the video just to give it a bit of time the rule of thumb one minute for every year that it's spent in the cask just to give it time to settle Deanston 10 year old number four in this series that I'm doing tomorrow I'm going to review the Glen Grant 10 year old Rich amber gold color, clear influence of the ex sherry casks. Legs are forming there on the glass. All right, on the nose. Wow, oh, if ever I had a sherry bomb, this is it right here. Rich, rich dark sherry. It's almost like I'm smelling molasses. Thick molasses syrup. A hint of coffee that I'm picking up on the nose. Rich dark fruit, chocolate. The sherry and the chocolate and the dark fruit is so intense. It's, it's almost masking the vanilla that's sort of trying to peek out. And then a bit of allspice. What a lovely, rich, flavorful, 
powerful nose and I'm not getting any alcohol which is surprising 57.7% 57.7% all right here goes on the palette mm. my goodness it is syrupy, it is rich, it is sweet. Caramelized brown sugar, prunes, rich dark sherry, oily mouth coating with a finish that just carries on forever. The richness is still there, the fruit cake, the allspice. <clears throat> Almost like... <clears throat> What have I got in my throat today? It is almost like... <clears throat> Sorry for that. It's almost like coffee, chocolate, honey. Lingering. Soft bitter notes. Not at all overpowering. Just sort of a hint of soft bitter notes. This is absolutely incredible. I'm going to add a teaspoon of water. <clears throat> to the 57% ABV. Let's see what happens with a half a teaspoon of water. One can actually add quite a bit more. The dark sherry, the coffee chocolate is still there. For this kind of intense taste and palette, I would have expected it to be a bit darker. Like the Cavalan or the Glendronach. It's quite light for this kind of flavors that ex that's exploding in your mouth. Creamy liquid fruit cake dusted with allspice. I think my summary for this whiskey is exactly that. Liquid fruit cake with coffee chocolate sauce dusted with allspice. That very lightly dusted with allspice. That would be my summary. And I think a lot of people will argue that the sherry cask influence for this expression from Deanston is too overpowering. And, uh, and I think that is true. It is really overpowering. It's, it's really taking over everything. But I think there's a time and place for this kind of whiskey. I mean, this for me is really delicious. It is a fantastic dessert whiskey for me after dinner by the fireplace. So definitely in time and place, I really, really love this. The price here in South Africa, I got it for a real bargain between five and six hundred rand, <clears throat> which is a real bargain for a limited edition cask strength, 10 year old from the Deanston Distillery. Um, but I couldn't get any prices for the UK, Europe or the US. Maybe you've come across this where you are. Please let us know what is the price around where you are and also what is your impression on this whiskey. So pairing this sherry bomb with a food snack, I would recommend that you connect with the prominent flavors in the flavor profile. So go for something that would connect with the coffee flavors, the fruitcake flavors, the sherry flavors, the chocolate flavors. I'm thinking fruitcake with coffee chocolate sauce. I'm thinking uh, coffee chocolate, ginger chocolate. Or a honey chocolate coated dried fruit perhaps. Or even a nice steak. Barbecued steak perhaps with a barbecue sauce. And um, maybe a chocolate sauce. I mean a rich steak dish. Uh, this will really go well with something like that. I'm going to connect with the caramelized flavors. So I have got a few Rolo chocolates here. Rolo caramel chocolate. This is what the package looked like. Um, and I'm going to try this with this whiskey. Caramel chocolate. 
And here we go. Mmm. All right. Mm. Oh, fantastic. Caramel is the answer for this whiskey. Caramel chocolate, absolutely wonderful. What a experience. And I think I'm really in trouble because at the end of the series, I'm going to do a summary and I must pick my favorite out of these five 10 year old whiskies. And um, I think that is going to be a difficult job. But before we get there, hope to see you soon in the next video when I'm going to review Glen Grant 10 year old single malt. Thank you for subscribing, clicking the subscribe button below the video and recommending your friends to this YouTube channel. See you soon. Slanger.